I'm Alessandra Barrett, Senior Content Editor for JOC. I'm speaking today with Ty Bordner, Senior Vice President of Amber Road. Great to see you, Ty. Thanks for having me. From your perspective, what does the landscape of the global supply chain execution market look like? Yeah, I think the first word that comes to mind is siloed. Um, you know, global supply chain execution, global trade management, as a lot of people call it, uh, really encompasses the uh, sort of end-to-end -end process, you know, all the way from sourcing execution through logistics and trade compliance. Um, and I think the way that the world operates today is, uh, is very siloed. Um, it could be many, many folks today just try to outsource a lot of the functions to third-party companies, a lot to the freight forwarders and customs brokers, and they may have many of those. So the, the, the data and the information is just spread out and fragmented and, and, and not consistent. Or at best, they may have some country-based point solutions. So they may have a, you know, an export solution in Germany, an import solution in the U.S., you know, one for Canada, and again, siloed, right? So whether it's being outsourced or whether they have some capability uh, in terms of uh, the software market for the uh, GTM or supply chain execution space, the information is just uh, disparate, not... Uh, normalized, if you will, so not structured and, and spread out into uh, multiple systems. So, can't really can't really do much with it, right? You can't really uh, sort of gain value that you might be able to gain if you had this information in sort of one central place. From your perspective, what are the main tech challenges facing the market? Yeah, I think I think you know the the the, the breadth uh, and the complexity of the global supply chain uh, execution market is. Uh, is I think the first challenge is, is having the capability under one system solution that can that can help companies meet the needs for all those you know three three large areas again sourcing logistics and uh, and trade compliance so that's the first challenge right is is having the ability to to have a single system that can deal with all that um, the second challenge I think is um, uh, normalization as I mentioned earlier is the ability to get all this information into one common format. So it's like if you and I were sitting here and, you know, I didn't speak uh, English and, and I was Chinese and you didn't speak Chinese, we couldn't talk to each other. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing for software. You got to convert all this information into one common format, one language, so that now we can all agree on it, right? So that, that's the second challenge. The third, I think, tech challenge is, uh, is having this data structured. So what, what I mean by that is today that the way that, the way that the world works today in the supply chain is is largely on paper, right? And when I say paper, it might not be paper, paper, but although a lot of it is, <laughs> it's yeah, it's uh, it's um, uh, PDF files, you know, Adobe files uh, or Word documents or you know, f phone calls, right? So things happen over the phone. Well, that you can't capture that, um, you know, you know, maybe even spreadsheets, but spreadsheets aren't really structured in the way that in the way that you know software systems are and databases are. So the third challenge is getting all that data structured. So getting it into the system and putting, taking the little fields and sticking them in their slots in the database. Because once you do that, now the software systems can understand what those are and start to process the transactions in an automated way. You can collaborate information and you can analyze the information. So the fourth way is is just the very nature of centralizing this. So it's the opposite of silos. So if I've got third parties out there that are doing things for me, or I've got these sort of single point solutions out there, you know, I may have 10 or 20 or maybe hundreds of siloed points of information for my global supply chain. If I can get that all into one location, I mean, the value equations just go through the roof. So what's the future of tech in this space, do you think? I think the future, as really in any of the business areas, you know, not just not just the global supply chain. Although I think maybe the global supply chain is is um, uh, maybe a laggard because of its far flung nature and its uh, and its complexity, is to really digitize digitize this area, right? To be able to do what I've talked about here is to be able to get this information structured and digital and and get it in one system. And once I do that, I can um, you, you can now share. So a, a GTM system or a global supply chain execution isn't designed to replace all the players in the world. It isn't designed to uh, the fr have the freight forwarder go away, the customs broker go, go away. Those people, those companies and entities still perform valuable functions. But what it's designed to do is create more value. So once you have the data digital, you can start to share that electronically 
with your partners, with the forwarders and the brokers and the banks and customs and you know all sorts of people. They don't have to rekey that data. They're not going to make mistakes anymore. They're going to they're going to be able to gain such a value just from that very nature to, to do all that. You can automate processes now. So now I can I can't automate everything, but I can sure automate a heck of a lot, right? So instead of having people do it and make mistakes and have to do it over and over again, the software can automate things in an instant, and not, it's not going to make a mistake, and it's going to it's going to be able to generate value that way. And then the third way is to analyze this data. So if I have a, a historical record of all of my you know POs from the very beginning and what happened to them and how many shipments did I create off of them and how much duty did I ultimately pay and and how much uh, how much was my transportation costs and what happened to the milestones as those goods moved throughout the world and I can I can go back and analyze that information I mean there's all kinds of stuff you can find out and you can use that information as a as a uh, continuous improvement loop uh, to, to make your business run better, and you can you can now ask questions and get answers, right? Whereas today you ask these questions and people don't have the answers. So, so I think those are the those are the three main things. And and so where we're going is digitizing the supply chain. I think that's the future. Thanks for taking time to sit down with me today. Thanks for having me. Thanks. I enjoyed it. I've been speaking with Ty Bordner, senior vice president at Amber Road.